South African archaeologists have rediscovered an ancient lost city known as Quenning using laser technology. The researchers who are with the University of Witwaters Rand have been studying the site in the Suica Bosra National Park for decades. But it wasn't until cutting-edge laser technology known as LIDAR or light detection and ranging became available that they were able to study the ruins in detail from above and discovered that what they thought was only a scattering of ancient stone huts was actually a veritable city. LIDAR data is enabling us to do is actually to map and track what was happening in these towns um, because there's no written record of them. So we're basically rediscovering and rediscovering their use. And what this means is filling in a huge historical gap, especially for Southern Africa, because we know pre the pre-colonial history of Southern Africa has no written record. So now we're starting to fill in the gaps using this LIDAR technology. Professor Karim Sada has been exploring the area for 30 years, but says the vegetation was too thick, so he commissioned a LIDAR area survey to get a better look. LIDAR essentially employs lasers to measure distances to the Earth's surface, which is especially useful when surveying areas with thick ground cover. A scanning machine that sends out laser lights, and it basically bombards the landscape. I mean, billions and billions of pulses of, of laser light. Something like four or five hundred per square meter, just all the time coming out. And as soon as the, each pulse hits an object, any solid object, a bird or a leaf or a tree or a, the ground, it reflects straight back to the machine. And then the machine can figure out where that interception took place in three dimensions. So when the plane then collects all of this data, masses of it, and it comes down to ground, they download the data, then they can project that data. Studies now reveal that Quenning, which spanned about 20 square kilometers, was at its prime between the 15th and 19th century. LIDAR has also enabled archaeologists to create digital images of the 800 homesteads and other structures that housed the city's estimated population of 10,000 Tswana speaking people. If you create a game and kids can play around, um, with the context of knowing that is their heritage and having a sense of what was being there and the sort of like housing structure, the architecture which was there. Quenang, like other Tuana city-states, is believed to have gone into decline after civil conflict. 